my esteemed teachers, and to all the curious young minds out there. I am Nandini Emele of First Tennessee Space Science. It is my greatest pleasure and anticipation that I stand before you today to introduce a remarkable individual, a mentor whose journey to be God's dream of knowledge has left an indelible mark on those fortunate enough to cross paths with us. In anything you do, you can be highly Namaskaram. Sound the Buddha. Breakfast on Vajra. Which language you want? Malayalam or English? English. Is there anyone who don't follow Malayalam? Eh? Which language you speak? Hindi. So Hindi me hoga. Our class search. All of you have pen and paper with you. That's what your vice principal told, right? Do you have pen and paper with you? You want louder? It's, I am not a monologue teacher. Somebody asked, do you have PowerPoint? That's the first thing people ask, right? Disturbances. Right? You can fill the chair. The front chair vacant doesn't look good in any class. No vacant chair in front of you. These are my small rules. No. It's, it's we have to change. No vacant chair in front of you. You shift the to this next lane. One, two, three, four, five. There is only four. With the chair. There are five, there are five. You, you will learn little Malayalam during my session. Yeah? Where are you from? Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Where Udaipur. Okay. Beautiful place of lakes. 
we have few factories there, right? No, Udaipur has. Oh. I, I was talking about Udaipur. This is also no, it's a chem battery board. A battery variant. See, um, when you have five people in the first row, second row also five. That is called the class is in order. What's it called? Order. Order in the Malayalam dari. Kramam na. Kramam allatta in the parent dari. Akramam. So classil akramam padi liya na. Ano liya? Correct or not? This has to be a good lesson for him. And for your principal or vice principal. And the organizers. Correct? There is a tendency that the first chair is vacant. Generally reserved for VVIPs who come late, right? Correct or not? Don't. In all my graduate classes, I used to be the first person to sit in the first. I will not talk to somebody who sit in the back. I will only look at the face of people here. Are you getting what I am saying? All teachers are like that. And if you have vacant chair, and I post this on YouTube, how does it look like? You know, I have children, they will ask, what happened to you? You were not like this earlier. Did you become too old that you are not able to control your class? This is what they will ask. He was telling, your vice principal was telling that I was academic staff for a director, right? So all the university teachers will sit like this in my class. Senior most professors were my students. So I would not allow them also to become late. If I say nine, nine. Very, very disciplined. All of you can write. The title given is what? Do you know the title of today's talk? Louder. Louder. Getting to know the big picture of space. Actually, my brain is full blank now. I have no idea what I am going to speak. Therefore, I want all of you to write. What is the big picture you have? I also have a pen and paper. I always travel with the pen and papers. I want all of you to write, maybe philosophical, maybe artistical. I was asking Nandini on the way, what should I speak? Tell me something about space. Right? She told so many things which I couldn't understand at all. Basically because many people mistake that people from space department knows about space. Correct? Many people think that people from space department knows many things about space. Actually, it's a wrong. Tomorrow, chairman of ISRO is here. Who is he? Somdha. Okay. You ask him about space. Probably in the last few months, he must have studied something on moon, sun, because many people keep asking. Otherwise, his specialization is only rocketry. Are you getting what I'm saying? Rocket fuel, filling, fluid mechanics knows only how to fuel it, how to pump it to the space. You need not know anything about space to send something to space. You need to know only trajectory, projectile motion. Correct? And we, including me, People work in two satellites. One is INSAT. And yesterday was a blackout day for INSAT. Do you know this? Yesterday was a blackout day for INSAT between 12.30 to 1.30. Anybody knows why? Yeah, good boy. Love you. What's your name? Eh? Pizza. Pizza. 
should learn from him. Why? Why yesterday was a blackout day for Insat? No satellite signal will come because March and September two times in a year the moment in which the sun and the moon sun and the earth comes in straight line in which your satellite comes in between in Indian region right geostationary satellites so it is stationary with respect to earth geo is earth stationary with respect to earth so we must know little things about space because insight is controlled by space putting there we know little bit so one series of satellites is insight which gives lot of messages it's like ear and mouth for communication what you speak from telephone goes to the satellite and from there the tongue works to reach you right so it's a ear and tongue that is what is insight it also takes some picture of predicting what happens in the climate you will see a picture in the newspaper you have to write down all this in case if you are not otherwise at the end of the day you will say oh what did i learn i don't remember anything right write down at least technical terms you need not write full sentence but insert insert climate climate write down such terms so that it comes to you or you can ask questions based on what i am speaking that's what she instructed me to do right speak one hour so that they can ask some questions but insert was not my area of work we have two sets of satellites one is the rocketry which i said first which is of two types gslv bslv aslv which has to take it to the polar or to the geostationary and polar satellites are pole to pole it moves around the earth that's remote sensing satellites so i am a remote sensing man i know only remote sensing nothing else what is remote sensing satellite do like you have google map so it looks at takes pictures of the map of the earth and then gives you the map what you have google map today probably i generated 30 years back what you are using today similar maps i created so my job is actually social science making map from the space was my job but that was very specific military applications you know veerappan right yeah i gave the map for catching veerappan you know kargil war from my hand the maps went for kargil war okay so this is what i did in my department of space so i know about earth i don't know anything about space okay but i know about space basically because of many reasons general interest my son took a phd on social space in kerala you understood social space in kerala social space is a social scientist is a professor assistant professor in dublin university law and governance department he is in ireland but his phd is from dublin but the subject of study is kerala social space understood so the word space is a big big word that's why i asked you write down what comes in your brain you must have never thought about social space right correct now i'll tell you another beautiful concept from indian tradition just morning there was somebody who came to meet me is a i never met him but he saw me many times i use english words very carefully so write down english words because i started teaching english probably before i started teaching maths or physics meeting is different from see so he saw me many times and first time he saw me was in a big public hall here darbar hall ground 
where I had 50,000 audience. And the topic was a beautiful topic, which is biorhythm. You know what's biorhythm? Biorhythm is we don't eat same number of idlis every day. Correct? We don't have same mood every day. Do you have same mood? I am a psychotherapist, so I speak psychology more than anything else in the world. Our physical energy doesn't depend on what we eat. It depends on the mood. Correct? You may have headache, especially because I pulled him from the last row to the first row. You think stupid fellow, he pulled me. Actually, I wanted to talk to my friend, he stopped me. Now he will not be able to attend any lecture. He will start getting headache. Don't you get headache in the classes? If you don't like the class. Correct? But you have severe headache, you go for a beautiful movie, your headache will go. And after the movie, the headache will come back, right? Yes or no? So is headache a physical problem or an emotional problem? Yeah, most of your disease is this is the word itself says look at each word write down otherwise you will forget when i said this is it's a technical word each technical word you can pick it up and google dr tps prefix dr tps and add that word you will get at least one video on me from me on youtube disease is not illness dr tps there is a video and I'm from an Ayurvedic family. So we look at people and decide what disease they have. What disease, not illness. Understood? Illness needs more diagnosis. So many people have illness, but you yourself do not know what's your illness. You only know the symptom of illness. That is disease. Are you getting what I'm saying? The fever is not an illness, it's a disease. Temperature of the body comes because of many reasons. So what is disease? That is space department. Because gum is the translation for space. Now today we have to talk about space, right? And you have a space department, embassy in? Space science. Yeah, come science, come shastram. What is the translation for the department? Come shastram. Okay? So what is come space? Anything good in Sanskritam, you prefix su. Smita becomes, smita becomes susmita. Sukham becomes Sasukham. So in prefix to Kham, if I put Su, it becomes Sukham. So good space is called Sukham and bad space is called Dukham. Are you getting what I'm saying? So sitting in the class can be a Sukham for me because I am enjoying it. Probably it may be a Dukham for you, you may suffer. As long as I am enjoying, I do this business. That's why I keep on moving from different places because I am enjoying. I will enjoy more and more as it goes more and more. But if I put a PowerPoint, as he was asking, do you have, he has no question whether I have a PowerPoint. He only asked, do you have a Mac? Correct? Do you have a MacBook? Yeah, that's a stamp. Everybody comes with a PowerPoint, right? But Dr. TPS never, earlier, yes, maybe 10 years back, I started this business for last 22 years. Lecturing public is 22 years almost now. I started in January 2000. So almost 23 years, right? Earlier I used to have PowerPoint. I have plenty of them here. The class is boring. 
and your smile is not there, I don't want to look at your face, then I will look at PowerPoint. But otherwise, powerful points will come from my view. Do you want PowerPoint or powerful points? Yeah, powerful points will come only if you are smiling and you keep writing and you keep asking a lot of questions. Okay, I am a good speaker. No doubt. That's because, you know Akitam? Akitam certified that I am the best speaker of Kerala in one year. He was the judge for looking at lectures of different people and then said, yeah, Dr. TPS is a good speaker. So I am certified in Kerala as a, one of the best speakers. Akitam is a great poet. Yeah, he spoke about 20th century, Irivadam Uchandi Dehidhasa, right? Irivadam Uchandi Dehidhasa, 20th century. But I don't speak about centuries now. Actually, many people speak about 20th century, 21st century education. Actually, it is stupid. Except in space science. Space science things moves in centuries, right? But in technology, things moves in much, much faster than centuries. So nobody should speak about physics, centuries is fine. But technology, science, centuries is fine. But technology, so I decided all my lectures, you will see a new terminology from Dr. TPS. I wrote a book very recently. You can get all my books on PDF. I'll send it to you in case if you ask. The book is called Three Two One World. You know what is Three Two One World? Third decade of 21st century. So I only speak about the technology of third decade of 21st century. Three Two One World. Google Chat GPT will not give you any details because Chat GPT only knows what is prior to 2018 or 19, 22 November it came, yeah? 22 November is chat GPT release, not even one year old. But their database is little old if you are taking third version. If you are taking fourth or fifth version, they will also tap my website without my permission. Okay, recently I gave a talk on chat GPT for, uh, I'm an MBA, so I teach uh, uh, something called uh, business management. So in which one of the recent talk was the applications of chat GPT on transportation, logistics management, but not much of logistics, so that's why rename it as transportation. They are from Rajasthan. Tej Logistics. Tej Logistics is a company who does air, ship, transportation. So, today's space of knowledge is again space word comes. What is the space of knowledge? Chat GPT. Where do you look for something? Chat GPT, right? So I don't want to tell something which is available on Google, Chat GPT, on YouTube. I want you to think and write down. Now I gave lot of different spectrum. You know what is spectrum, right? The wavelength. When when I gave the topic, I never thought like this. Now I am thinking around it. I, I never thought that I am going to talk about social space from my son. I never thought that come to come, I will become space there. I never thought the knowledge space. Knowledge space is a big space. Correct? So I want all of you to write down few big small questions. You know what is PhD? How many of you? The faculties are PhD here now. Would you do a PhD? No PhD is here, right? But you all aspire to do PhD? Wonderful. Write PhD. PhD. Doctor of Philosophy. What is PhD? Doctor of Philosophy. 
last year philosophy day i was in west bengal university because i am a philosopher for them i am more a philosophy professor than a space science professor for them all of us whichever subject you are either in malayalam as your vice principal is or maybe mathematics or you in physics yet the highest degree what you all aspire is phd doctor of what is philosophy philosophy eh huh? always what you should do is look at the actual meaning in dictionary philosophy is blind love what is philos the teenage love blind love so i have a poet i am a poet i wrote a poem which is called love is blind it is a word right love is heard this but i didn't end there poets always create new philosophies right so one of my poetry title is love is blind marriage is the eye opener okay you will see a different world after marriage correct w i f e eh why in rajasthan wealth in full enjoyment but here worry invited for ever husband kya hota hai pata hai hast band hota hai ek ek bar hast to band hona hai uske baad correct when you love someone you like smiling faces but after that don't smile to anyone else correct so restrictions increases तो इसलिए हस्तबंद भी हो सकता है हस्तबंद भी हो सकता है हस्तबंद लाइफ इज एल आई एफ ई ऑल माई बुक्स आर लाइफ लिव इन फुल एंजॉयमेंट लर्न इन फुल एंजॉयमेंट लर्निंग इज एन इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर फ्यूचर लर्निंग एल आई एफ ई सो स्पेस कैन बी लुक एट in a different spectrum i was telling about spectrum wavelengths your open eyes will see only 0.4 to 0.7 micrometer your physics students or not am i telling some other subject you should say yes or no right am i right 0.4 to 0.7 with your don't you understand wavelength visible light infrared ultraviolet in space department we also have satellite images which takes pictures of thermal infrared ultraviolet all that we will picture we know what is where is the underground water from the space we know whether your banana tree is watered that day or not from the space because the color of the leaf will tell you therefore red is not green is not one spectral band for us we have got many small small band with spectrums the camera takes only one color of one picture therefore it's not panchromatic not black and white not multi spectral today we have hyper spectral hundreds of spectral regions and we have microwave the bandwidth can be entirely different i can have a camera which will take your picture and see whether you have fever or not if my sensor is thermal sensor i remember when i went to hong kong in 1985 1985 at the visa entry they used to take a picture and then see yeah no fever go so they were using thermal all all visa entries in many places in china in early 90s when i went 
they have a gunshot sort of a thing. You have seen during the COVID, they will take a gunshot of a thing, right? Actually, that is the thermal image of you which records and tell you what is your temperature. So, spectral region gives you different pictures. There is a very specific reason for me to tell like this. Don't think why am I? My subject is remote sensing spectral region. So, how do I know the temperature of Mars? Many people think in the cosmology, in the space, I know the temperature of sun. How do I know the temperature of sun? Take a picture, convert that to thermal region. Don't think somebody has gone and touched the sun to see what is the temperature there. Nobody has gone to see the space to see whether it is minus 274 degrees Celsius or not. No, not required. We can take a picture and then see that. So a small physics which is a science which can start in your lab in a electromagnetic energy spectrum which can take your normal picture. When you take a picture, you have got different filters there. Have you seen the filters? I can improve the... What am I improving? As physics student, you must understand I am improving the spectral region. The light is less. Black and white can be 0 to 255 gray values. 2 power 0 to 255. So total number of gray shades are 256. If you don't write, you will not understand any of this. What is 256? 2 power 256 number equal to 2 power <coughs> 2 power 8. That is why the image is called 8 bit image. And 3 RGB together in the image space we only talk about RGB primary color. So in your camera if you are getting a color image that means I have got three spectral signatures RGB and mix them together to create a color image. No camera works with color. Every camera 24 bit camera. What is 24 bit camera? 3 8 bit. Which are the 3 8 bit? RGB. Are you getting what I am saying? This is the basic science of looking at the space or earth is also part of space, right? If I am taking this class picture, I am seeing this as dark, this is white, not exactly white, not exactly black, the grey shade. But I will not see black and white because my eyes are in the optical region of 0.4 to 0.7 micrometer. If you don't get, you can just stop me. Eh? It's, don't think that it's an invited talk. It's a class. I teach maths also like this. Without writing on the board. What I expect is you to write. If my words cannot be translated into your writing, that means I am a bad teacher. Or you are a bad student. The combination is very good. Both are bad. If I am good and you are bad, I will enjoy, you will suffer. Okay. If you are good and I am bad, you will start disturbing me. I will suffer and you will enjoy it. Are you getting? My last term, I was a mathematics professor during the COVID. But no PowerPoint, no display. Maths was told like this. And they have to write and send me the picture of the notebook, which I will also ask you sometime. And if you send me the picture, I will give you internal marks. That's how the internal marks are given. Understood? So if you can write whatever I am saying, you are a good student. If you are not able to write, you are a bad student. If all of you are not able to write, I am a bad teacher. Got it? So during the spectral band, 2 power 8, 8 bit, when I take a picture of the space, I can 
enhance any of this area but i can only print a color picture i can take a picture of infrared ultraviolet and all x ray picture is taken but do you think x ray is in black and white no x ray is a different spectral region but when you get it on the film are you getting so i will map this spectral region into a black and white or color to see clearly for us so if you take the picture of kerala from the satellite image it's full of greener but green picture is never given if you like satellite image color satellite image of kerala not in google map google map is a true color but true color too shady you will not be able to see water green most of the water in kerala is green because of fungus are you getting but then the greenery and the water body will not be distinguishable right i will not know where the water is flowing so what do i do the water body have a different temperature than the land so the thermal picture is taken and wherever the temperature is low i will give a blue color wherever temperature is little higher i will give a red color and such image is called fcc false color coded image see i am not introducing the technical term i am explaining you and then telling you this is what it is fcc false color coded image so look for fcc false color coded image of kerala you know who is the first remote sensing scientist in india we must be proud as kerlaites it is pisharadi and pisharadi is the man who started national physical laboratory npl in ahmedabad he was an emeritus professor there i met him in nasa he was the first induction training teacher for me in my office great man you know he went with uh, the picture of kerala coconut trees from the satellite from nasa and then convinced indira gandhi the then prime minister telling that we also need space department to do research on agriculture studies in india from remote sensing he is the man who started so remote sensing can see i was telling no you can see the water is water is given to the banana tree or not see in afghanistan they cultivate lot of kanja opium the opium cultivation they don't do it straight in the ground because any satellite can see the opium america is very bright they'll catch them therefore they plant banana tree under that they will put opium so satellite image technology invented a new technology banana tree under that opium tree signature is like this see we create signatures of you understood so what we is called the ground truth we make a picture there and take the picture see which bandwidth which color what can be seen enhance it that is how we create false color coded images normal picture will show you only the top the false color coded i can take it in different bandwidth that's why it is called hyperspectral earlier it was called multispectral not three band seven band 18 bands so two cameras will be there panchromatic camera multispectral camera but today we have hyperspectral camera it is not 100 cameras like one black and white camera one color camera no same camera but as it enters inside your mirror it splits its wavelengths into different spectra like a prism the normal light enters it splits into seven colors but i can have a 
prism which will split the normal thermal infrared ultraviolet everything is here it's not only visible here right this is able to take a signal which is not visible which can hear no only this wavelength q band different bandwidth is there your radio signal i am not able to hear but when you tune it to fm am that means it's there wavelength is here around imagine if our ear is susceptible to all the wavelength what would have happened we will die if our ear is susceptible to all that can be seen there is a beautiful malayalam movie in which mohanlal is using a specs and says i can see inside your clothes <laughs> which movie is that ha yeah yeah same but mohanlal came before that <laughs> shahrukh khan also will agree because he want to show anger right got it so your spectral wavelength can be cut through the filter understood so assume if i use a different wavelength and look at the space the color will tell me the temperature of the cosmos are you getting so therefore what we have done is we have started looking at the whole space on the cosmology that is space science as far as you are concerned right what is space science for you everything in the not on earth beyond earth correct but where is earth in the space so what you should do is look at the space first look at your earth around look inside you dio yo naha prachodayat om bhur bhur is earth om this is space department om bhur bhur is bhumi bhuvaha above the earth om bhur bhuvaha swaha above that avaha pravaha uttaha stada paripurvaka vah all the layers of earth is there your stratosphere atmosphere all that is together is called avaha pravaha uddaha tada paripurva gau vah all that together will be 140 kilometers aryabhata told this are you getting aryabhata is older or newton is older aryabhata so who told uh, gravity first akrishti shakti stumahitaya yat ghatam swabhimukham swashaktiya akrishyate why the planet is not moving I, now i think i don't require power point okay adrishti shakti stu mahitaya yat khastam swapi mukam why all the planets are standing like this without falling eh which gravity who's gravity see one planet has got a gravity assume that you stand and two people pull you one person pulls you you go there that is gravity okay your house pulls you when you return home acceleration happens when you come to college you come slowly walking because deceleration there is nothing get attractive here one is deceleration another one is acceleration so one planet with the gravity pulls who the moon but moon cannot come here because there are other planets around which is pulling to the other side because everything is pulling from different time aakrishti shakti stu mahitaya yat dhastam sv abhimukham towards me i pulls another fellow pulls towards that and everybody is pulling together in different places padatvayam khe where it can fall it cannot fall this is what is universal gravity g and do you know the most dangerous planets closer to earth why is it dangerous because it's burning totally and there are spare parts from some portion of that can come to earth and then hit earth 
the big portion of another planet comes and heals large areas of earth can hit and then burn instantaneously more than that it can produce different different components of helium hydrogen because those chemistry is not the air chemistry here are you getting you look at jupiter mars everyone has got a different carbon dioxide 95 percentage in some planets imagine that one portion of that comes and then hits our carbon dioxide is point 04 percentage 03 in udaipur yeah maybe a little better <laughs> some percentage 20 percentage here you go to the center of the city it becomes 16 percentage one six four percent less because lot of vehicles are moving carbon dioxide increases hundred percent only can be the right imagine somebody is pushing lot of carbon dioxide air cannot absorb and make it 140 percentage air has to be hundred percentage only right so what will happen some oxygen will get released faster are you getting and immediately when the car the vehicle goes with the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide all the plants will absorb the plants will be so happy to get carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide is good or bad carbon dioxide is good plants will become happy and then it will release a lot of oxygen correct not oxygen air with the percentage of oxygen more i have seen some swamiji's in the morning session in the pranayama they will say take oxygen inside is the filter there only oxygen will go inside stupid swami he never learned basic science in seventh class you are taking air inside with the 20 percentage oxygen and then your body is so impure the air comes out will have 20 percentage no 20 percentage oxygen 16 percentage air with the 16 percentage oxygen 0 0.4 carbon dioxide will become 4.04 percentage the oxygen will convert into carbon dioxide inside because your body is so bad right are you getting so what is the perfection of your body depends when your vessel is clean you pour good water rinse it well what comes out is pure water your body is clean when i take air the percentage of oxygen comes out in the same percentage then my body is clean are you getting there is a chanting for this pranavana vyano dana samana me shindata jodhre ham kar jabi bapna buya sanga swaha vak mana chatu srotra grana chikwari do buddhi agni sankalpa me for which your buddhi has to be clean first your buddhi is not clean you pollute yourself so your inner space becomes clean only when the outer space is clean with all the atmospheric errors if i take a picture the spectral region can have errors noise i will filter out all the noises take a picture get the picture of the planets look at from this end and this end if i look at some place i will know the distance how do i measure distance parallax yeah because your eye two eyes you have three dimensional vision For only one eye you should have only two dimensional vision what she said is a beautiful word parallax x parallax and y parallax this is x parallax my eyes are parallel that's called x axis now y axis also has to be if one eye is tilted like this then i will not have a beautiful picture you want to check that don't worry press here one of your eye just press here then you will see one image tilting 
press just bottom nothing wrong if your eye goes bad we will go to some hospital just press here you will see one of the eye getting tilted you lose your parallax then your 3d vision will go you will see one of the image will get tilted like this so both images fuse to get to the three dimension so my job was that take two satellite pictures take the picture so i can measure the height of the mountain what you get in the google map 3d option is there actually the 3d option gives you two satellite images to take a three dimensional picture which is called stereographic picture when you go to scanning for the doctors they will put two endoscopy cameras with the two endoscopy camera only they can see the tumor they can see the size of the tumor they can measure the depth they can measure the thick, the baby whether it has gone to what level what is the weight of the baby so 3d picture is required that is using two pictures so what we do is take one picture from here another picture from here find the diff distance that's called a triangulation that technology is called a triangulation the subject is called a photogrammetry i am a photogrammetrist you can see publications from dr tps in journals photogrammetry dr tps you will see some journal publications okay so photogrammetry is the subject which the basic first best sensor we have is eye which can take picture and then see a three dimensional online so i know this is this much distant and the depth is this much donkey doesn't have parallax vision that is why donkey cries all the time thinking that you are here i will come to you then i will see you little far always understood you have a uh, optical illusion because what you think is in the front is not in the front it is little back what is in the back is in the front finished confused life understood you can create your own picture if you want anaglyph automatic generator apps are available it will ask you to give two pictures of you so you can get a 3d picture of you left picture and right picture they will ask you to take a left picture of you and right picture of you your nose will be like this eyes will be inside and all that now you just reverse and give it then your nose will go inside eyes will come out understood it's a beautiful thing you can create there are apps available anaglyph i am the first person to create a anaglyph from a satellite image in india sharad pawar was the defense minister of that time the first there was a satellite which is called a french satellite which is called spot spot and you can print that in different color you have got uh, 3d pictures cinema theater correct in which you use a glass polaroid glass and one image and another image displayed together on the screen when you don't use it you will see two images when you put them it will come fused and then 3d will come magazines the childhood magazines you have got a green and red glass look at it 3d will come right same that's the basic anaglyph which i generated from satellite image those time i used to make glasses also in my photo lab i was head of photo lab and department of space i print the glasses i manufacture glasses and then created such glasses to see the image in three dimension that's how we have given those maps for the army people you cannot you they need to print on the ground to see the mountain and all so i created such maps now you understood why am i saying this i can see the space take two pictures from two different far off place from earth i know the distance from mars jupiter different planets temperature measurement also i told you correct so i know the space i know the time i know the distance i know the temperature every detail about different planets now i was telling some portion of the planets can fall to earth but what will happen jupiter is there 
if something comes from mars jupiter will absorb pull it so that means if you have got high energy there are only three things one is energy another one is spinning another one is mass any cosmology in the world describes in three parameters when you talk about satellite when you talk about planet when you talk about solar system when we talk about the milky way galaxy universe or multiverse all those can be three parameters are important what is that mass spinning okay third one is energy now which is the fellow in the whole brahmandam the sanskritam for multiverse is brahmandam what's it brahmandam i'll tell you in india you want to do research write few technical sanskritam words like this and submit as long as this government exists they will give you a lot of funding my last visit for kochi was on indian knowledge system it's called iks look at iks you want fund for this college iks you create a iks seminar i will get lot of people and lot of money also for you the indian knowledge system in space technology ah wonderful great subject lot of money will come to send alberts i am really speak because aryabhata spoke lot of things mathava spoke lot of things you know uh, you are talking about spectrometer you know who is the person who spoke about spectrometer in the whole world first time eh no he used the spectrometer you want a joke on that ramen was uh, indian institute of science director no he didn't like indian institute of science so he walked out of he is a high egoistic physics man he booked his tickets to receive nobel prize even before the nobel prize was announced two times he cancelled because he didn't get <laughs> third time he went and received okay i did my phd in bangalore so i was a constant visitor to cv ramans ramans research institute that's diagonally opposite to indian institute of science that is because he was thrown out of from indian institute of science not at all not an open secret okay but then he started ramans research institute he understood spectrum okay but spectrometer was modern spectrometer was invented earlier to that that's why he could use the spectrometer right what he did was he took water put a torch light see what's the light coming out without subtracting all the refraction parameters of the glass jar then only water can be used right now fill it with the kerosene fill it with alcohol fill it with a different liquid and then see how the refraction happens that's how raman did that's raman's research right is it not you should know this you must have studied this but you forgot because no person told you like this now this you will never forget that's dr dps class what is raman did he put a spectral region measured out different liquid different liquid different liquid he did it and he said not every material refraction is same reflection is not same and he used lot of gems because he was a rich man because so many people used to come and to meet the scientist they used to give lot of he is a man of physics man of gems gemology so different gems people use for fingers right he did lot of research on how the gems reflections are and he had a collection of beautiful gems all the kings used to go and gift you want to be rich start gemology research in physics 
Many people will come with the gems. I'm a gemologist. I'm an astrologer. I'm a gemologist. So gems gives different refractions. So he got a Nobel Prize last. Somehow he got it. Okay. Then there was a beautiful party in which everybody said, we know Raman's effect on alcohol. During the party, what happens generally? Alcohol will be served, right? So one great scientist said, we know Raman's effect on alcohol. Now today, we will know the alcohol effect on Raman. <laughs> you understood? So different liquids, how the refraction, reflection, all this is what is his research. All these spectral region. So anything in physics starts with the wavelength. Wavelength is energy. The energy will tell you the wavelength and the frequency. Very simple. The frequency is in this bandwidth how much it goes up and down. Wavelength is how slowly it goes. What is the difference between AM and FM? FM is frequency modulated. That means between this bandwidth the frequency is too much. You expand it, it becomes AM. That means it can go from far distance, but clarity will not be there. Between the building it will not come. Only in plain terrain it will come. Between the building you want, in the city nobody runs an AM. They run only FM. That is because everybody wants to reach to their houses, inside, kitchen and all that. If you want, don't use AM. That's why AM and FM. So energy has different frequency bandwidth. Now my question is, which is the dirtiest fellow in the space, in the Brahmandam, which can absorb everything? Black hole. Eh? Black hole. So if you have small mass, no, large mass with a small size, the energy will become bombarding. So which is the black hole which is really dangerous? Small, large energy. Understood? And understand energy is proportional to no, the momentum. The mass and energy creates momentum. Did you learn what is momentum? What is momentum? Now don't learn mass into velocity is momentum. Nobody understands this physics. That's a problem. You want to really understand what is momentum? Assume that Vande Bharat is standing in the railway station. Not moving. It's a huge gigantic mass. And you slowly walk on the track and then you go and hit there. Will anything happen? Why? Big mass but energy is zero. Velocity is zero. Momentum is zero. Impact is zero. Now assume you are standing there. Vande Bharat is coming with it. It's on speed. What will happen? So the mass into velocity is momentum. Are you understanding what I am saying? But assume mass is very small. But velocity is too fast, like a bullet, gunshot. Mass is very small. Which is important? Velocity is important. Yeah. As you know, like the lightning bolt of photons, photons are very massive. Then how will the lightning bolt play those? No. See, the problem in physics and maths is every physics explains in maths only. My PhD is. Yeah, but, but what do we do in, in PhD? Knowing more and more about less and less. What is more and more? Infinite. What is less and less? Nothing. Infinite small means very zero. Actually, it is not zero. Any particle, electrons, what is the mass? There is a mass. Any matter has a mass. So there is nothing called no mass, but there is a mass. So the 
black hole small small in the sense how much the hair you take it cut in the thickness of the hair when your projector projects in a dark room the hair if you put it it will show in front of the light but without that also you'll see small particle moving have you seen that that is called rajaha what is it called have you seen atoms in your life yes with your naked eye now i will show you without any telescope your mental scope can see atoms jalandhara gadebhano take a bucket of water pure water put a torch light jala andara gade bhanav bhanav is light take a water put a torch light same thing a projector in a dark room yes sushmam drishyate rajaha clearly look at it you will see small particle moving same particle in water will be seen on this air also that is called rajaha what's it called rajaha tasya trimshatamo bhagaha divide that into 300 pieces can you imagine this no one more line will make you to imagine assume you can imagine tasya trimshatama bhagaha paramanu ridis pradaha that is the size of an atom and in that atom you have a neutron proton electron going around it so whether matter is more or space is more see when you draw an atom you will put neutron in the center electron going around in an orbit right whether the space between the neutron and the orbits not one orbit many orbits is bigger or the electron is bigger so when you look at space the electron become is infinite small no weight but that electron is the electron which is giving the life to the atom such atoms are giving life to the cell that cell is in your body now let me ask you whether your body has mass or space are you getting the big picture of space now are you getting see i take a picture of you go to biology department they will talk about 10 power minus 6 biology microbiology is there a microbiology department here ask the teacher they will tell you microbiology why because their microscope can only see 10 power minus 6 you should write 10 power minus 6 micro up to micro there is biology cell can be seen 10 power minus 9 why there is no 10 power minus 7 minus 8 only 10 power minus 6 then 10 power minus 9 why because in western science they have million billion trillion they don't tell crore lakh word is not there they have only 1 10 100 1000 10000 100000 1 million 1000 1000 is called 1 million then 1 million 10 million 100 million 1 billion then 10 billion 100 billion 1 trillion finished anything after that in physics you will see trillion billion trillion billion billion trillion billion trillion billion trillion because they don't have words but in bharata we have you know that you go to any temple the priest will chant ekachame ekachame trishyashtame trishyashtame panchachame panchachame saptachame saptachame namachame namachame ekadashtame this is arithmetic progression some god goddess doesn't like arithmetic they will say ekach ekam cha dasham cha dasham cha shatam cha ekam dasham dasham ten shatam sahasram sahasram cha sahasram cha ayutam cha ayutam cha prayutam cha vayutam cha kayutam cha we know up to 10 power 57 ask some priest they will tell okay so we had different power series here so now 10 power minus 6 microbiology 10 power minus 9 nano do you call it nanobiology why life is lost so 10 power minus 9 technology okay 
and you further go up to 10 power minus 15 30 atoms go to minus 35 that can be the size of a black hole smaller than an atom but the power of that can be equivalent to absorbing the whole earth are you getting once it goes inside it cannot go inside because it's infinite small but it can hit you it can burn you like a nuclear bomb it's a nuclear size right but that can fall in some place the whole area can be finished nothing will be seen ashes this whole body this whole body 60 kilogram only somebody may be 120 kilogram doesn't matter you take it to the graveyard smashan this is also called the graveyard where dahanam happens what you eat will be digested here right the last digestion is in the graveyard once i am put into the electric crematorium what comes out is a packet of 60 grams so the fire can make everything into infinite small if that fire is so powerful so what is black hole the most powerful energy source which can be a sink for the whole universe can you imagine the whole solar system if it goes inside a black hole tomorrow morning instantaneously the universe will disappear are you getting so many such black holes are there with the potential energy which is infinite small this size what i am saying but it could be a coin size she knows all the names i don't know the names of she did a lot of research on black holes so she was teaching me but that couldn't register here okay look at it there are beautiful beautiful bbc documentaries on black holes i can only trigger you to ask you to look at this i cannot explain as better than that or much better than that look at eight wonders of universe that's a beautiful long back maybe 2018 or 19 i have seen three four months back also there was something which came so look at the wonders in the space there are small to big wherein the whole universe can get into so which is the parameter there energy size or mass mass when we say it can be size more mass less mass more size less but if you compare with uh, black hole and all that earth is a huge one with a little mass because it's totally concentrated density more gravity more you know the word gravity in physics but you ask the police officer the gravity of the situation was worse the police has to fire are you getting now what i should ask you to do is take all your physics terminologies i'm sure you must have never seen the dictionary meaning of those words look at it when i interview people i will only ask them what is gravity immediately they will say 9.8 meter per second square this is what i want to throw them out of the give them disappointment not appointment if some physics people get a question what is gravity what do they say 9.8 meter per second square correct what is 9.8 meter per second square acceleration but what did i ask is gravity your answer was acceleration but gravity is the force of attraction correct but even if it is force of attraction 
force unit is not meter per second square why did you give answer in meter per second square anybody any smart physics fellow louder acceleration due to gravity so what is the basic terminology in physics which you talk about when i ask you something you will not tell that that is where i started my class actually sukham dukham disease illness don't think that i just say blah 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 i connect all of them later why did i speak about sukham dukham acceleration due to gravity fever due to understood what i am saying what is disease is the symptom the cause and effect what is physics cause and effect right is there a better method to explain cause and effect than this so in physics if somebody ask you cause you could also give effect as an answer because the whole physics is cause and effect so when you say black hole what is the cause what is the effect it can absorb everything you can describe it but then understand if i can create do you know what is an anti black hole if i can create assume that this black hole has got a charge i create another black hole equivalent power in a different charge collide them each other the charge will disappear so i said three parameters one is charge second one is mass another one is spinning so it will have a different spinning and different mass so it will become non dangerous there are lot of experiments happening in this field lot of experiments but theoretically practically like big bang theory people started nothing happened okay so look at space from different aspects did i speak more yeah i spoke almost an hour good enough she instructed me speak one hour correct are you happy or unhappy i know some of them are unhappy but by and large 80 percentage is happy it is good so now close your eyes make your own space nobody around you you are on in your own world what did you learn what did you hear think all that around open your eyes take a deep breath backbone straight hold your hands like this if you are sleeping then you can get out of it write down few points which you learned write down few questions which you can ask me i can give you a lot of terminologies and technical terms which i am not using there are so many terminologies like i don't know whether you know the plank plank is a word used for measures the plank measure is there 10 power minus 35 yeah, yeah. so ask few questions if you can discuss with your friends around left right what did you learn what we could ask what is that happened in the class is it that what you expected something different you want you can discuss we will start questions soon after that
ഇത് ബോട്ടില് ഇത് നിറച്ചതാ അല്ല ത്രോട്ട് കെയർ ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ലെങ്കിലേ ക്ലാസ് നടക്കും ഓക്കെ ഗുഡ് ഇനഫ് ആസ്ക് യു ലൗഡർ ലൗഡർ Come here, otherwise. Come here. Introduce yourself. Not working. You take that other mic. This doesn't work generally. If I don't know whether that is disconnected, check. No, he must have not... you are a physics man right no you destroy it this is the right place right correct ya battery thunna adonda parnadu ah you just see where it is connected increase the volume there you should do experiments right correct yeah bring it here that may not be on sometime or see louder speak louder like this come here speak louder yeah little turn yeah okay uh, my question is about your name my name is prijo my here. name is a old is english i am I am Pujo, uh. from BAC first year, physics. And my question is about, uh, we are talking about spectrometer and the satellite of 3D imaging. I have heard that there is a gravity hole that is found by the satellite near Indian Ocean. Okay. Yeah, there are so many wonders. You are a carolite, right? There is a Shastra Kaudukam radio program, Dr. TPS. Okay, with few pictures I have explained. There are so many sink and source of energy, either in sea or in the land. Have you heard about uh, forgetfulness of earth? All this write down, you can Google later. Yeah, go. See, the Earth, North Pole and South Pole have got different magnetic energy, right? Do you know that Earth is tilting? Maybe 100 million years back, do you think the Earth, North Pole was North and South Pole was South? It would have been reverse. And there is a concept called the reverse of North and South Pole. The magnetic energy will tilt different. And Oman, there is a place which will... take the vehicle you put a neuter it goes up i went there understood so there is a magnetic energy there which pulls many things inside ocean not one many places are there bermuda triangle you heard right so i did a radio program on bermuda triangle for a uh, fujira radio dr gps Bar- huh? not forecast all these what I am speaking will be on my youtube what I do is the radio program when I record I keep a camera record it myself and I post my youtube along with the radio program so I will not leave chance of making my youtube film so Bermuda Triangle is a true true activity which happens because there is a sink and source okay during the spectrometer i forgot to tell you because you told spectrometer you know the sanskritam for spectrum no the original name of spectrometer in the traditional original spectrometer which they named it as spectrometer 
వెస్టర్నర్స్ దాంతో ప్రమాపకం యంత్రం దర్ ఈస్ ఏ యంత్ర సర్వస్వం ద ఫస్ట్ డిక్షనరీ ఆఫ్ ఫిజిక్స్ బుక్స్ ద ఫిజిక్స్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంటల్ డిక్షనరీ వరాహమిహిరన్ వరాహమిహిరన్ క్రియేటెడ్ యునో వరాహమిహిరన్ హెడ్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎర్లీయెస్ట్ ఫిజిక్స్ మ్యాన్ ఆఫ్ ట్రెడిషనల్ ఇండియా దాంతో ప్రమాపకం యంత్రం ద్వాత్రింశ సంయుక్తం థర్టీ టూ స్క్వేర్ పార్ట్స్ ఆర్ దర్ తమో భేద ప్రదర్శకం ఐఎమ్ గివింగ్ యూ ద డెఫినేషన్ తమో భేద తమో ఈజ్ సన్ లైట్ భేద ప్రదర్శకం ద స్పెక్ట్రల్ సిగ్నేచర్ ఈజ్ స్ప్లిట్ అండ్ దెన్ షోన్ టు యూ వాట్ ఎ బిగ్ డెఫినేషన్ నా ఆర్ యూ ఆర్ యూ ఏబుల్ టు అప్రిషియేట్ దిస్ తమో భేద ప్రదర్శకం the spectral signatures of light how many square parts dwatrimsha samyuktam 32 square parts okay navottara satatmakam 109th equipment in the book the chapter number 109 this book is explaining dwandva pramapakam yantra iit delhi recreated this for a display purpose i don't know whether it is there now or not danto pramapaka mandram as it is from the traditional book now you can google danto pramapaka mandram you will get a huge picture the spectrometer was half size of this room or quarter size of this room okay you had something see that is why i said the spectral signature doesn't talk about the size and actually you look at gamma rays through gamma rays look at the space um you will see a different spectral signature x ray you look at same using x ray look at the space do you think star look like star what you are seeing from your eyes no so what is done is different spectral signatures of different uh, whatever planet or universe i want to study look at it constantly for longer time then take those pictures and then interpret to them these are all interpretations actually most of that what we speak today about space is only theoretical no experiments possible right no actually what you see in the normal i am not talking about what you see in the printed books look at different signatures different wavelength different parameters on the journals published journals you will see a different color the same see for example if i take a picture of suppose there is a um, plant growing on this wall if i take a picture normal picture will show plants but if i take an infrared it doesn't look like plant at all it will look like a moisture put on to the wall in a different spectral region it looks like snow the wall is not there it's full of snow correct so it is my camera my signature which the information about my camera using that i will interpret what is that i told you know when you take that's why the reason i told you the plantain leaf below that the kanja opm 
they can create signatures first so every study if i take a picture of sun before that i create signature different temperature how the temperature varies what color how much it varies and look at it carefully and then create a scale that scale is what is used to measure the distance measure the temperature measure the density measure the deterioration everything so it's a long term that's why I made the word saying it is not one day affair it is decades centuries got it i cannot do it in one day by evening morning i will measure no it cannot be done so it depends on what is that i wanted to measure the time scale has to be different yeah tomorrow we are going for nasa space challenge huh. and like uh, we have a project uh, which is given by nasa so they will give us uh, some data and our topic is magnetic reconnection hmm. so like uh, if you can just enlighten me about how can we predict everything like uh, we have some knowledge not that much but uh, little knowledge about this topic yeah what do you do how much you know i don't know this is what i said actually the mars have got a different magnetic energy i told you three parameters mass energy and the spinning if my magnetism is such large mars has got a large magnetic energy jupiter has got a mass large, large magnetic energy what will happen anything which comes closer to that it absorbs and it decays there itself see always electromagnetic energy it's a single terminology whenever there is an electric pot potential magnetic energy will be there whenever there is a magnetic energy electric potential will be there understood so when the sun comes in straight line with the earth it is not the light which distracts my signal it is the electromagnetic energy which creates trouble for my signals are you getting so anything in physics when you talk about energy electro magnetic energy let it be sound let it be light let it be temperature electro magnetic energy the wave itself is electro magnetic energy correct every signal is electro magnetic energy that is where nandini was talking we wanted the space concept intentionally i kept it down because it is truly complex mathematics understood i talk about signal processing what is signal processing when i said here there are lot of signals where is the signal coming from different place in which frequency which wavelength i don't care each wavelength and frequency multiple things are there they don't collide each other there can be a signal there can be a noise added to that but my mobile is able to catch only the signal cutting all the noise that is why i am getting a clear signal understood assume that that magnetic wave electromagnetic energy get disrupted by some other energy what will happen i will not get signal why is it happening either electrical signal or magnetic signal understood a small disturbance is not a problem if i am talking continuously is disrupts you will not be able to catch the meaning but in between something loses also you can catch the meaning because you got the sentence correct right are you getting our health is also like that assume if i stay close to a transformer don't you think a transformer has an electromagnetic energy which influences my bio energy i've got a bio energy which makes me to the cell the atom 
the electrons moves in a very specific orientation atom electrons have got a charge electrons goes around to my nucleus in a very specific speed and spinning rate assume that i keep a magnet very close to my brain close to my brain for long time definitely i get a head ache you know why all my electrons started spinning in a different rate and different energy which can cause brain tumor cancer later the pattern of one cell in my body goes bad that is called the cancer one cell and i did lot of research why people get cancer the reason is i am susceptible to electromagnetic energy which is not acceptable or harmonious to me okay right hartman lights hartman h a r t m a n n it's a german scientist who did lot of research on how energy can cause cancer which was my research and i told you here madamrata and my is program 50000 people i gave a lecture this was the topic hartman lines how it affects my physical body not more than physical body my emotion can be controlled do you know the effect of magnetic energy on my emotional thoughts the moon the tide in the moon i went to kailash i had got a friend of mine who was traveling with me he is an american kailash you get a visa beta not hiding i went to manasa sarovar kailash pradikshana along with me there was a traveler from america i said beautiful moon you know the moon in kailash will look three times bigger than the moon what we see here because we are on a upper platform we are going closer you look at the moon there you will see three times bigger earlier points in kerala and throughout the world people wrote chandramukhi what is chandramukhi yeah beautiful right we have got a beautiful lallapi for making kids to sing which is that omana tingal kidavo now when we think about the moon we know little bit of ditches here and there if i say chandramukhi that means you have got lot of pimples and lot of ditches in your face correct it is not that as beautiful as the traditional poets wrote moon is very beautiful no but in astrology moon is called the place in which place your moon stands will tell you your mental status whether you will become psychologically sick so that position of the moon is creating tides waves in the sea why sea is highly salty the salt conductivity increases suppose if i put a a two battery and connect it in the water the wire disconnect and put it in the water the bulb will not light but i put lot of salt in there light will start coming that is because conductivity increases right so the water in the sea is highly electromagnetic conductivity conductivity is more therefore what happens the small magnetic energy of the moon makes the waves to move much i can control i'll put it little here so it works the wave theory is vibration it will not create echo if i hold it like this right you can also hear this now you are seeing physics the the waves will create sound right 
the same wave in the moon is created because of the magnetic energy of the earth sun moon everything which influences the sea water your body contains 70% water, water. non newtonian fluids otherwise when you stand the whole blood would have gone down little here yeah now you are in the camera <laughs> now the whole blood come now the whole blood will go down why is it not going because of capillary motion don't think in the oil refinery to get the oil in the oil refinery they are pumping oil from the underground you just put a, assume that you have got a glass of juice here you put a straw water will not go up but if it is a juice put it down the juice will come up because viscosity is more suppose you put ghee put the straw ghee will come out till oil understood that viscosity of the water will tell how much capillary motion it has that is why when you put a lamp one wick is put just dip it and light it it will go behind because that liquid has got memory viscosity another word understandable word is memory it has its own memory forgetfulness that is why morning when you lie down like this getting up you are lazy because your blood knows you are sleeping lying down you don't want to get up understood so it's not your problem you have a thick blood therefore it will tell you sleep some more time it's very difficult understood so the visco velocity visco elasticity determines it has got an influence of all the energy in your body because you are a conducting body when you touch electricity comes are you getting the atmosphere doesn't have that much some planets have got high magnetic electricity so what will happen somewhere some electricity leakage you will die immediately the shock will come fast here even if there is an electricity shortage short means i am not taking a shortage shortage somewhere some electricity missed it will not affect us but huge potential electricity will clear problem that's why 110 kv line it goes they will not allow you to construct a house there big tower you cannot construct a house there because that electricity falls line loss will be there we are all susceptible to such magnetic energy what it one example is moon so when i said matoba was his name originally a japani then american who was traveling with me he said it looks so beautiful but this is the fellow who creates waves in our manas you become sad you become moody you get epileptic effect one of the biggest disease for the brain epilepsy comes only when the moon comes here and there understood your mood off because of that that is why in astrology physical emotional intellectual social spiritual wavelength will be different all these are created by electromagnetic energy that that was my doubt actually can you give some like physical examples by you i know what you are asking for when you stay closer to me because your aura comes closer to me before you speak i will know what is in your mind i am a spiritual man from himalayan tradition if i give shapa it will affect if i give blessing also will affect you take this book open a page random page what did you get uh, 71 oh. what did you get read sir i don't feel very open to my friends and even parents with whom i can share my feelings is it true actually <laughs> kind is it true yes that's the book it's a book of wisdom What's your name? Vahira Sarpanch. Eh? Vahira Sarpanch. Did I tell you what is in your mind? Yes, exactly. That's it. <laughs> It's a magic book. It's a magic book. Life made simple. Anything what you think will come in this page. 
what she wanted to ask i gave answer right without asking come here yeah Good. Any more questions? No, sir. That was actually I have another question in mind. Uh, I have read somewhere that uh, you know in the Hindu mythology and in the Greek mythology, they are talking about various machines and about the various vehicles used by the uh, characters involved. So uh, I read that that maybe because they actually saw that maybe some like which is the vehicle? One example. Sir, I don't actually remember the name. But See, we have in Ramayana what is called aircraft. Correct. Do you think aircraft existed? Uh, that was that. At least there is a definition for aircraft in the traditional Indian knowledge. Do you want to hear that? Yes, sir. There are three modes of transportation. Which are they? Either on the ground, or in water, or in air. Correct. Assume that you are from one island to another island. Which are the modes? Ground is left out. Water and air. This is how the definition is. Desha, desha, anta ramyat pak. From one desha to another desha, when you want to go, three modes are there. Cut off from one island to another island. Dupa dupa anta ram chayva. Now you have cut off the land. You have the yuddhu marhasi, which travels in the air. स विमान प्रोक्ता दैट इज वाट इज कॉल द विमान कैन यू टेल मी ए बेटर डेफिनेशन दैन दिस फॉर ए विमान यू आस्क एनी एयरक्राफ्ट फेलो दे विल नॉट बी एबल टू डिफाइन लाइक दिस सो एट लीस्ट वी हैड गुड डेफिनेशन फॉर वेहिकल्स नाउ डिड आई एक्सप्लेन द कॉस्मोलॉजी प्लानेट सोलार सिस्टम यूनिवर्स मल्टीवर्स ऑलसो गिविंग एक्सापल्स फॉर न्यूट्रॉन एटम electrons going around it spinning and all that one shloka the whole subject which i spoke can be finished by saying one mantra from upanishad which says yata pindhe tata brahmande the whole brahmanda the universe multiverse whatever you can imagine is equivalent to one atom because there is a neutron equivalent to sun there are electrons going around it spinning in one rate exactly same rate so many planets grahas are going around the sun so if you have not seen an atom it is equivalent to seeing the solar system when you draw solar system you draw sun and then lot of orbits when you draw an atom you draw a nucleus and lot of atoms right so is it one and the same or not so a chemistry teacher is equivalent to cosmology teacher are you getting eda pinde tada brahman so the concept wise bharata was very strong and greek you know where is the first olympiad happened greece you look at dr tps pithion that olympics was called the pithion i am i don't know what's the designation which they gave i represent pithion in india and i have recognized that means i have made to recognize boat race as part of boat race is never as a olympic game under pithion games which is called new pithion games the greece what happened long back we starting now and we are making committees in different places you want to be part of it we'll make that to be part of it and then you can represent india you can represent in kerala thank you okay pithion games and there is lot of funding happening ztv is sponsoring all the programs and i included mural painting there boat race there all that in the pithion games we can have any art forms as part of the games that's what we are planning to good enough yes so the concept of transportation concept of technology was there you know which is the center of india yeah madhya pradesh is the center uttar pradesh is here but 
Khajarao. What's it called? Khajarao. Have you seen Khajarao? Have you heard about Vatsyayana? Never heard about Vatsyayana? Very bad. He is the first man of sex. Vatsyayana. Okay. Any posture which you have in any dance form, any posture, if you are a dancer in whatever form, you can put your fingers, head, eyes, any part of your body in whatever form you can posture. Take a picture, go to Ghajarao, you will see one statue there. If, if at all you wanted to go to Madhya Pradesh, wanted to go for a picnic to see some place, don't miss Ghajarao. That is supposed to be the center of India where all the art forms are stored in temples, which is one of the archaeological center. Khajarao is the name, but there is a small board there. The inauguration board will be there in some places, right? Which is written, the traditional name of Khajarao is Vatsyapura. Sir, is that the same place where there are homosexual statues and everything? That is what it yeah. is. So she knows about it. And there are some statues in which the backpack is like a rocket. Humanoid backpacks are there, which is now used in Gulf for transporting people. Uh, same picture you can see in that. So don't you think we had at least some concept of yeah. transportation individual exactly. people with a backpack? Actually, this question was with me for a long time and I, I didn't have anybody to ask. Thank you so much. Any time, any question, 944-950-2038 go. Dr. TPS, you can search. If you miss my number also, search Dr. Dr. TPS. I stand for teachers, parents, students. TPS. Okay. So, the Khajaravo is the center of yeah. India. And we had a Greenwich Meridian passing through that center. Not the now Greenwich Meridian. You want to know how to get it? Keep one stick in Langa, another stick in the Kailash. Put a thread. Okay. Langa Vatsya Purya Vandi Vatsya Purya. Langa Vatsya Purya Vandi. Thaneshwara Sura Alayan Put a stick and put a Surya Surya is thread Desham Dharavidayani That is called a Greenwich Meridian So you had a Greenwich Meridian Before Greenwich Started in UK London Center of the world universe was Which place? Kailash Yeah was Kailash. This universe was which is in our traditional knowledge of the universe. Our traditional knowledge of the universe. That is what the concept of the whole Purana is written. Purana is only stories. Idhihasa Puranas are stories. So the explanation of the Idhihasa Purana, they call Kailasha as the center of the world. Where the center in the sense where you can east and west is made like that, not the east and west, what today we have. In that sense, in that sense yeah. Yeah. So we were talking about uh, IKEA. In the knowledge system. Was there a civilization that was so advanced that then vanished somehow and we don't possess the knowledge that we already have? Yeah, it's a beautiful question. We had great scientists. Yeah, scientists are visionaries. I told you, Jalandare Gade Bhanau Yat Sushpam Drishyate Rajaha Tasya Trimshatamo Bhagaha Paramanu Didis Pradaha Paramanu can be seen. But then the last line I did not chant. The last line says, Nani Nam Drishti Gojaraha. Those who are knowledgeable can only see this. 
that means everybody cannot see there were few people who were poets imaginary people where they could visualize things what you call as myth as a poet he is able to imagine and write them so there were poets philosophers scientists all of them mixed together in one how did it vanish that is because the next generation poets lost science as a purana sa traditionally an oral tradition yeah 100% transmitted so isn't that very susceptible to 100% it is what is it called is belief i believe my father is so and so correct okay. i believe yeah my mother told me yeah that's what i'm saying that is today i did not experiment and found out this is my father i believed my mother so first starting is belief then knowledge i am coming to that so it needs to be experimented and proved many things are not proved and most of all mathematics like you said is many things are not proved yeah, i said is transmitted orally for example that is what i said many things are not proved but uh, there are glimpses of infinite series in madhavas stacks and yeah uh, the value of pi yeah it goes to infinity yeah. and the calculations yeah. then ramanuja be rediscovered it and we use it today so uh, how can such advanced knowledge just vanish out of law it did not vanish that is why we are quoting it right yeah but still for a mass for the mass mass society it doesn't exist we are just rediscovering stuff most of the stuff especially it is true it happens because you only gave the answer it is oral it was never documented to well and uh, you mentioned kailas being the center of the i explained it is east and west partition like a greenwich for the partition of east and west greenwich zero degree longitude and how, what exactly is energy when we use a term energy energy if you understand what is kinetic energy what is potential energy See, assume that when you are falling, what you have is a kinetic energy which has got a motion. Yeah, that's what I have problem with. I think you should read the basic physics and then ask this no, question. Like, if I just say kinetic energy is the energy. No, I think if you don't understand energy, you should go back to your basic class and read from seventh grade. But I I know what energy is, but look at dictionary. Energy is. Uh, you look at dictionary, understand the meaning. Read your basic science and then come back. But, uh, sir, I have given my number. I said we will come back and discuss that. Then, a person who doesn't have energy, uh, don't understand even energy. I think cannot understand. I am saying, what is energy? That is what I am saying. Energy is. I gave example of light is an energy, sound is an energy, which. which you can see in that electromagnetic spectrum becomes a light energy so which you can hear 100% what i am saying is i learned what is set theory in 8th class but i did not understand anything when i came to pg what happened we had the first class which says set cannot be defined so you understood lot of conflicts and contradictions will be there that's a good sign that is why i am saying at this level read back those text you will understand much better sir uh, i'm not saying that i uh, do not understand what kind of yeah. energy or any from energy so i'm saying that when we use the term energy it refers to a vast variety of things and yeah for example now we learn about temperature as an energy heat is an energy how do you realize heat as an energy but what uh, i came to my own conclusion is that all kind of energy is kind of motion yeah every every energy is that is why i said kinetic that term understood so what happens is if i put a temperature the temperature increases in a pressure cooker what will happen the pressure increases right so the temperature converts into temperature converts into a motion the air want to escape from there that's what creates the pressure right that's when the diesel comes out so If one energy transfers into another energy understood yes, all these basic energies are transferable they are all electromagnetic energy in a different style 
they are all creating motion they are all creating dynamics anything which creates dynamics has got a force which has got earlier we were talking about momentum right velocity mass everything together gets into the form of an energy but fundamentally we say uh, energy is motion and motion is a relativistic thing then motion is relation relativity you cannot even measure the distance from one place to another place because the whole universe is moving understood then which is the institute which give the standard measurement in india <laughs> eh? the weight distance physical national physical laboratory they what do they do is they take the measure and then say this is 1 kg in india the mass weight proportions length proportions the 1 meter 1 feet all that varies from place to place it's all related yeah. so uh, uh, what i understood is that energy is related to motion and motion cannot be defined in a straight form cannot be that is because in one dimension two dimension three dimension multi dimension is entirely different so uh, does that means that we actually do not know what energy but it's a no that is why i said no, there are a lot of people who are against the quantum theory against the theory of relativity there are lot of scientists who are in australia now the planck institute has got a great number of people who doesn't germany planks have got lot of centers one of the planck institute no just read very recently i was reading because one of my so when someone says that okay you cannot really believe relativity it is not something that i say there are lot there are lot of scientists who are doing research on a very small yes. thing which is yes. to disprove yes sir but if i am giving you the proof of relativity until and unless it, it is disproved by some we will not teach that in the classroom now we are talking about expansion of knowledge right so what we should do is we look at what people are now if i will again give you more contradictions we all agree that earth is a geoid a spheroid do you know there are people who are still doing research scientists who is a flat flat earth so we know it is wrong but still we should recognize listen to them what is that counter example which they are giving that is how a scientist has to do classroom teaching we will not create contradiction we have to teach as per the syllabus but as a scientist we open our ears to all contradictions in the world understood we don't we don't have to accept 100% that is what understand see for example now we have global warming why the great the great inconvenient truth is the movie which propagated but there is another movie which is called the great global warming swindle look at that movie there are people who say that global warming is real and there are people who doesn't say not there are some people the british television interviewed 37 great scientist of the world yes the great global warming swindle yes, see that i am only asking you to look at it open your ears don't believe learn so how can we just do that you Science. believe it is that is what is the contradiction of a scientist science pragmatic and meticulous study yeah we believe it
But what you should do is keep on learning about it until you prove it or disprove it. Yes, that's why I say. So, if I have to prove general theory of relativity. With the present knowledge. Yes. But we always expect that there could be much more greater. See, when I was a young child, we learned nine planets. But after some time, we found one is not a planet, it's only eight planets. Sorry. Understood? Because we had a different microscope. We had different uh, zoom in which we found it is not, it's only a dust. So it keeps happening. No, we should believe, we should learn, we should teach, but later we understand there are conflicts and contradictions. But then that is what is scientists, not in the classroom. We are not talking in the classroom of MSc physics to write an exam. We were with an open mind to explore all the knowledge around it. So, but if we keep on repeating the same academic curriculum that repeats the same things. You have to write them. exams. No, I, I'm not saying, I'm talking about exams. See, for example, probably I know Vimana is not invented by Wright brothers. Before that, there was a Vimana. In examination, I should write Wright brothers only. Um, Otherwise, my answer will be wrong. No, that's not what I was coming to. The... Because that is how I am taught, that is how the syllabus says. No, sir, what if the uh, knowledge we have currently now, which is not revised enough, for example, you are right about quantum, quantum physics, it's an That is why I gave the best example. In 8th class, I define what is a set. All of you should have learned set is what, right? But the first lesson in MSc Mathematics, what we have is set is undefined. Uh, but are we... What we learn is a dot is a single dimension. Actually, dot doesn't have dimension at all. That is what the higher mathematics we learn. So, like, what if our knowledge we have right now, for example, like, you talked about quantum theory. Quantum theory is an in incomplete theory. Even Einstein said it, and it still is. That's because right. the standard model is lacks mathematical subject. There is a beautiful documentary dialogue between Planck and uh, Einstein. Yeah, but... Uh, That's a beautiful uh, one. The scientist, I think, the documentary name is The Scientist. Even now, the it's a beautiful latest one. particle standard model we have, it's a patched up theory of mathematics. So, is this is the most advanced level of our fields patched up and you know are tied done. in bandages because our fundamentally we are wrong somewhere we may be i don't say we are not confirmed may be wrong until and unless we prove we have to believe this what if we uh, my, generally my question was this see for example yeah. atom is the smallest particle which we know but later we found the quark ecg sudarshan was a person who was doing for that. Assume that ECG Sudarshan was continued in America, not came to India for Maths Science Institute. He would have been a Nobel laureate in that field. People would have agreed. Understood? Yes, sir. So, because he did not get a Nobel Prize, people did not agree with him. We are still learning atom is the smallest. So, so if somebody proves it tomorrow, see, that is what I was talking about, what is PhD? If I give my thesis, I get a PhD. That is what is called science because I submit it in mathematics department. But tomorrow if you disprove it, you will get a PhD. But my PhD is never taken back. <laughs> Still my PhD exists. Yes. Nobel Prize is given for something and somebody else disprove it and he gets a Nobel Prize. Your Nobel Prize will stay with you. Nobody will take it back. So what can be done? And, uh, so this is science, that is nonsense? No. Both are science. So and you gave my one of my friends a demonstration on astrology. As a scientist, can I also test it? You don't have to believe. That's only a statistics. No, but can I test that? Can you do that with me too? Like, I'm just being curious. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. May work, may not work. For you. Okay, so how is the procedure? I just open a random. You just open a random. Now it's not random. You yourself pick it up two times. Yeah, you try start reading. <laughs> okay. To be pure or natural? Little co close to you? To be pure and perfect. To be pure and perfect. Who can rate this? It, de it all depends on our practice. The demands of society. It's fine. But being natural is better. More natural, more enjoyable. At the same time, we are humans and artificially is a social life. 
and thus artificially is a social life. People think that is better. More polished acting, if not natural. What a life. Yeah, that is what we discussed just now. Conflict between what is to be believed, what is to be not to be believed. You know who is the man of conflictology? Einstein to physics is conflictology to Mahatma Gandhi. Heard this? No, I haven't. Read. Einstein to physics is Mahatma Gandhi to conflictology. The great man who knows Mahatma Gandhi as a man, if you see the movie called Gandhi, my father, oh, is it Mahatma Gandhi, you will think. It's just contradicting what we know as Mahatma Gandhi. That's why people call him as man of conflictology. So everyone who is in society, who is in science, always have conflicts. You can't take, yeah, this is correct, this is not correct. You are always with the conflict. Thank you. Be with the conflicts. Then you are a, never get satisfied. Never get satisfied. If you get satisfied with your knowledge, development doesn't happen. But never be unhappy. Be happy with what you know. You understood the difference? Happiness is temporary. Satisfaction? Stay there only, you will never develop. So never get satisfied, but be happy. That itself is a conflict. Yeah. Yeah. This fan sound is not come here. Yeah. So when I was reading about it, uh, it is talking about spectrography. It's one type of photo. Then there is photography. There's photometry. So since we are using a lot of terminology, yeah. can you explain that? Wherever metry, the word metric comes. Metric means measurement. That means physically I can measure. Your camera is not a metric camera. Why? I cannot take a picture and measure the number of pixels and tell your size. Are you getting? No, but that's exactly how we can take the size of the camera. No, there are metric cameras. See, I have got a metric camera which is generally done for survey. Survey of India. Write down. Survey of India. They use metric cameras. That means the radial distortion. Whenever you have a camera, whenever you have a camera, the center of the camera is having a distance. Radially it varies. Understood? So the radial distortion of the camera is measured inside my camera. <coughs> a grid is imprinted. <coughs> the metric camera will have a grid there imprinted on this. And I calibrate for each grid how much is the distortion based on the distance. Okay, metric camera, that is what we do photogrammetrists to do. I do terrestrial photography. I take a picture here, measure. Okay, I have done this in Chennai and all. I went to Vaiga River, Vaiga Dam. Take the picture, understand the height of water well there. No, two things. Intensity of light is called the intensity of light. What we is the eight bit. Okay, that is measured in terms of the light energy which comes as flux. So the black is never black. Though eight bit, I will get zero to two fifty five. Zero to two fifty five. But zero, this is not zero black. Because I think this is black, immediately I will show you another black, you believe this is more black. So generally when I take picture of this class, 
I will never have the tubulite may be close to 255. But then soon after that what I see can be 120. So if I draw a histogram, are you getting what I am saying? If I take a picture, measure all the values like a matrix, 0, nil, 80, yeah, all this dust will look like 80. That will look like a 250. All your pictures will be between somewhere here and there. So I draw a histogram. Okay, that's called histogram. Write down the word histogram. The histogram of an image, you look at it. But then what do I do? I stretch it. I stretch them. What is close to black, I will make perfectly black. What is white, I will make it perfectly white. That's called a stretching. Histogram stretching. Contrast. The word is contrast. I can do anything with that. No. If I take a picture with the mobile phone, I can do the same. Right? I can do the same. You can do the same. Right. Yeah. So you will see, not even that. That's what I'm coming. You take a television, go to picture quality, you see what is called a histogram stretching. Contrast change. When you take an image in your display, contrast. So your histogram, earlier it was like lines here and there. Now it will look like 0 to 255. Okay, I can do it separate, R, G, B separate, mix them together, is what I do. That is radia, the radia, but that is not, that is not done on the geometry, that is done on the radiometric quality. You understood what is radiometric quality? The light color which is printed as an image, the quality change is called a radiometric quality. Gray value adjustment, another name is gray value. It is not actually gray, but each color is gray separate. Put them together. It's called gray value adjustment. I do gray value adjustment for the quality of the image. Radial adjustment for the quantity measurement. These together will give you radiometric quality, photography, metric quality. Again, I use the word metric because I am changing it. Okay, understood. Normal photography doesn't have all this. So these are the three different. No, sir, the same but radiometry will come, but geometry will not be adjusted because it's not calibrated for the but dispersion. Have very less right? See, that is because you have a wild field of view. Yes. When your field of view is wide, the distortion is not seen too much. But I am talking about seeing something very clear. My focal length will be more. Field of view will be too less. Yeah, but then the problem is I am seeing from the top of the top a small tilt will show a round glass into an oval glass. Understood? So what I do is in the image, I reconstruct the image so that it looks vertical. That is what is called orthophotography. I will give you so many terminologies. No, you can. See, that oval shape, if I take a picture of this, does it look like a circle? No. It will look like an oval shape. But I wanted to recreate the image as if I am looking totally down. Ortho projection. Actually, it is not ortho projection. It is a radial projection. Camera is here, it's an ortho -project. So I have to adjust for the radial distortion. That is called ortho projection. Ortho photography. It is never photograph. I recreate it mathematically. Understood? So ortho photo you write. So when you write ortho photo, look at how is it done. We create a lot of ortho photos. If I have to create a map and give it to somebody else, if this looks like an oval shape, will you agree? So what should I do? I rewrite it as round and give it to you as a product. After we take photograph, we process it. If I am looking at spectral different signatures, like what I said is the plantain leaf, below the plantain, whether the water is cool or hot, whether the ground there is energy only magnetic effect on an area can be photographed 
understood if i do all that see for example sea surface temperature sst photograph you look at it we have got ocean sat one of the satellite of isro is called ocean sat the picture of ocean sat is only used by people who wanted to go for fisheries where fish will go and settle you know not in hot place not in cold place in between so we take picture fish will move in only one direction in one path like it has got fish school it is called the fish school is only in one pattern we take picture and tell the fishermen from this port you go this much distance you will get the fish there so satellite image is used for fishing okay you want to know the organization which does this incois incois radha krishnan was the director for that center before becoming chairman indian national center for ocean information services all of you can try job there after msc physics especially after msc space physics one of the center where you can get job is incois indian national ocean information services incois there are lot of people one girl was there from irigana kuda who was traveling with me so throughout my journey 24 hours in train i taught her all this she got selected ocean information services so they use the spectral signature for photography understood so cameras can be different for different purposes not light energy either heat light ultraviolet infrared all the wavelength electromagnetic spectrum yeah so essentially we are getting the same information all the three camera is getting the same electromagnetic energy anywhere it is electromagnetic energy so like yeah everything is electromagnetic energy but the word metric comes if i want to measure geometry also have to be included so there are two cameras one is radiometric resolution when you speak about a camera two things have to be spoken radiometric resolution geometric resolution geometric resolution means i can resolve i can measure on the photograph and tell you this much is the height width spatial distances so it's called the geometric resolution it will become exactly correct that's why when you take a google it will tell you your location is 10 meter accuracy you remember one day i went for a radio talk in dubai the radio station was on 35th floor i asked them to send the location i took a taxi and went there where when you are on 35th floor the gps will give you signal with respect to the ground so you will be off by 40 meters understood so never share location from the top floor come to the ground and share location otherwise gps will lead you to somewhere else look at it as an experiment number 1 number 2 number 2 keep your gps on and then pick keep it there you will see it is rotating keep on zigzagging never say it will tell you 5 meter 10 meter 6 meter 20 meter 40 meter like that keep on jumping because depends on which satellite gives you the position understood so there metric is important that's also satellite that's also signal that's also signal processing that's also electromagnetic energy and signal okay so the positioning is also metric quality gps gives you signal it tells you from the earth point this is this much distance four points are created do a triangulation and then tell you this is at this place and that day for i went for a talk but i changed the topic and told people people should not how to share location that was my talk on that day gps was my talk i went for something else good enough
when i asked you to read look at definition i am saying very serious understand every word by word looking at dictionary basically i did it because i am from a malayalam medium you must have all learned your schooling from an english medium i am from a small village where electricity came when i was doing my masters i was in kochi university when i did my masters i have seen first time tube light in my life i have seen telephone when i am doing my phd in my house okay we didn't had television the first television i saw when i was in kochi indira gandhi died when i joined for masters that is the time television was given in the hostel so when i wanted to study what i did was i looked at dictionary understood word by word actually it helps me a lot that's why when i speak metric kinetic momentum energy light as a maybe third grade fourth grade english student i started learning english during my graduation post graduation most of you think you know i know property of matter what is property you don't know do you know what is property eh yeah. yeah, that is what she says but i teach management also if i go to a bcom class same thing, same place 10 year maybe 5 to 8 years back i was here to teach mcom students i asked them what is property you know what do they say the document which you create when i transfer my land to somebody else is called a property contract always deals with the property if you are not a proper student you are not a proper student your characteristic of a studentship is not there in the class i'll tell you get out of my class because you are not my student when you behave properly i'll say you are my student i own you so the characteristic also gives an ownership you understood the relationship between both now i am connecting physics and commerce you understood which is your college do you own that by paper eh huh? who is your sister who is your mother do you say you have two children do you say our mother or my mother you understood the ownership as long as you are with me i am with you that's called ownership so it's not different but when you look at the meaning you realize it now you understood the reason for i am asking you to look at dictionary and learn if you don't understand you will have conflicts and contradictions when you understand you realize it so what is essential to become a good researcher is realization not jugglery of words to explain the core understanding is most essential you need it very very rarely students i see who understand see actually the word career itself is wrong what is career you know after a job getting another job getting another job while driving while driving i was telling you have got a vedic academy here ias i am a dean for vedic academy i teach civil service i have got lot of students who are aspiring for indian services so you can see a book called a prelims handbook by dr dps i got lot of books one of the book is civil service prelims handbook when i do a job i can do parallel many jobs correct i can create parallel career is it a career path to be defined for you or you want a job when you want a job what you submit is called curriculum vita are you getting assume somebody comes to me for an interview and on top you have written resume 
many people by mistake write it the first question i will ask you do you have any experience of working somewhere if you don't have you don't know what is the title to be given for your are you getting what i'm saying resume means you stopped somewhere continuing somewhere else curriculum wise is your academic credentials be very clear why because many such colleges conduct career guidance programs where you don't know the basic definition of what is career and the person who comes and speak you also don't know what is career are you getting so career is to be your interest which you have to create i can do a job quit my job be a writer my career can be a writer do you think somebody can guide you just because i am a writer you can become a writer not possible up understood so what is required is you need a job which job you can get after this don't decide with this qualification where all you can apply keep applying don't take anybody's recommendations on where i can apply i have applied all the places just because they call me and give me a to and fro for rail fare i can go to different places and see the india so i kept traveling and don't take my experience for taking a career because i was one of the worst student thrown out of in eighth class being the worst student in the school understood so nobody can follow somebody's career i left my department i in between i did so many other jobs in space itself i kept changing my profession nobody does it not many people do that i was there in the program planning project management i did my knowledge management iist in the so space technology the first note we can have in the institute of space technology dr tps road madhavan nayar was the director we somebody gives a proposal we can start and i did an hr project on isro we wanted scientists who will educate in space so that we can get them inside this so i am the person who has done an hr project and my mba is on knowledge management of isro so that was a proposal from knowledge management of isro my mba project understood so i build institutions basant narlekar taught me not astrophysics basant narlekar taught me how to build institutions he was a great institution builder when basant narlekar was nobel prize size in his knowledge our ex prime minister rajiv gandhi invited him he was offered a director post of any institute you want in india he said i don't want institute to give me a land i will create my institute that is what is iota today astrophysics center created by him starting from foundation start to the building what to be done is created by basant narlekar you must read his articles in hindu newspaper wonderful english i was a student of him sitting like this and listening once upon a time he gave lectures in indian administrative college got it good enough thank you god bless you inshallah see you somewhere sometime Thank you.